Boss, I wouldn't be so awful careless about this shooting and cattle wrestling. Was I you? You don't like it, eh? Well, I was only thinking. I'll do all the thinking. You and the rest do as you're told. And we'll get somewhere. Where? You got a six gun where your brains ought to be. That's my land and my cattle. Didn't I steal about half of it for you, boss? Following my orders. All I need now is that nab place. That fella nab ain't gonna hightail it like the rest of them settlers did. He's a fighter. My cattle's gone to the railroad through Nab's ranch. Get that wagon end up. Fooling? <laughs> that wagon's mighty heavy, Mr. Nav, and it's loaded smack up. You two ground squirrels get ready to shove that block under now. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Trouble with you fellas, you're getting too old. <laughs> Mr. Nav? Yes. All right, all right. Doesn't seem to hang just right down the back. Of course, course not. Stop your wiggling. Pull up on that cinch. Oh, Wendy, if you'd only turn the hem up. Hem up or hem down. You keep still and I'm going to rope and hog tie you. Well, I was only trying to help you. Look what you do now. I quit. I can shoe a horse or skin a steer or clip a sheep, but women's clothes has got me down. This ain't no fit work for a top hand like I. Oh, Wendy, I'm sorry. Hey, 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 don't you do that. You think I want to make Snap jealous? <laughs> you won't make Snap jealous. He'll be glad to help me when he sees this new dress. I bet you old Nab, he sure be tickled, huh? Only... Only what? Well, nothing. It's you that's minding him, not me. You mustn't talk that way about Snap. Oh, Wendy! There you are. I guess the old man wants his pants pressed or something. So this is where you're hiding while the rest of the men do the work, huh? Well, I just did the... Uh, uh, was... Uh, Dad! How do you like it? Well, well, well. <laughs> Getting ready to make my boy's eyes hang out, is it, Judy? Nope. It's to wear when we go to town. Snap will be mighty proud. Shall I tell him about it? Or keep it for a surprise when he comes in from the range, huh? Oh, he won't even notice it. Snap's not like his father. <laughs> Each day she looked more and more like her daddy. Him and me was both just about her age when we settled this valley, Wendy. She'd do pretty good by herself. It's too bad he don't live to see her grown up. Be here when she marries my son. Hmm. We both figured that out when they were little shavers. Measure the wagon for a new dress. Oh, boss. What are you going to do with that rifle? Yeah. Look who's coming. Howdy, Nav. Looking for me, Holderness? Lefty and me was passing, so we stopped in. Put <laughs> that fellas alone, Wendy. Nice piece of land you got here, Nav. Yeah, you're right. You want to sell? No. Nope. How about $40,000? I'm not selling. You ever figure someone might try to stake a new claim in here and grab this place off? Yeah, I did think of that. Surveyor on the way here now. I never make an offer twice, Nav. Sorry you have to be going, Holderness. 
I guess I won't see you for a long time. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't come over here to play games with you. I told you I wanted this land. That means enough for most people around here. Just what does it mean, Holderness? It means that you ain't very smart. Maybe you're right. But I'm staying just the same. Come on outside, Holderness. When I came here 20 years ago, there were no graves over there. Those people helped me settle this valley. Well, there have been other settlers. My wife is over there. My partner and his wife. There's some land that's not for sale. What about my cattle? This canyon's the only way out. I've never refused a cattleman who wanted to drive his stock through here. You refuse me? They're not your stock. I'm sorry you're acting this way, Nab, because when I come back... Down in the far corner of that graveyard, there are four men lying who talk just like you're talking now. that draw. What about riding back to ranch now, Snap? You boys go ahead and tell the old man I had to round up some strays up the rim. Sure tough luck at your road back home leads through the biggest saloons in White Sage. Well, it's a right nice ride. Give my luck to Rosie. Mm -hmm. yourself a drink and don't breathe down my neck. That's up. Third one in the black. Give me another hundred dollars for the chip. I'm sorry, but your credit's all used up. Why, I... I'm sorry, that's orders. You heard what I said, didn't you? over there the other day, and there's still a few stock watered over there. Oh, there's another fight. Bring that kid up here, Lefty. Why that? Here, back to your table. Why that? Holderness wants to see you. See me holding it? Yeah, sit down. They tell me you've used up all your credit here. Well, that ought to be easy to fix up. Lefty. Drink? Sure. You know, I, I don't get in town much, so I have to make up for it when I do. Yeah, that's right. Think you can fix me up with about $500 worth of credit? That'll mean 50 more horses. Well, that'll be easy this time. The old man's driving a thousand heads into the railroad. You never miss him. Hello, stranger. How did you know I was a stranger? Because I don't know you. Anybody I don't know is a stranger. No. What'll it be, mister? I'd advise whiskey. We ain't got any ice and the beer ain't cold. How far is it to Adam Nab's ranch? Figuring on going there? Yeah, it's the wake point. Ain't a surveyor, are you? 
Yes, I am. How'd you know? Just a lucky guess. Wait a minute. I know a man that'll direct you there. Fine. Lefty. Tell Holden this was the bear he's been looking for has hit camp. I'm going to have some fun with this. See that fellow over there with a the cigar in his mouth? I couldn't miss him. He's the guy you want to talk to. I understand you can tell me how to get to Adam Nav's place. Sure. Sit down. It's too late to start tonight. Is there a hotel in town? Oh, I can bed you down, and we can start at dawn. Lefty here will show you the trail. Thanks. And if you don't mind, I think I'll turn in. Sure. Oh, wait. Show you're upstairs, the front room. Yes, sir. Right up there. Good night. Good night. Show him the desert trail in the morning. But the nab place is up in Zion Valley. How often have I told you not to think? You can do a lot better with your gun. You mean him? You couldn't hit a man riding across the desert. But I couldn't miss his horse. up all right, Judy? I'm a little bored. I'd like to ride a bit. Fine, I'll go around and jump them out. Snap was saying something about him and you going to town to a wedding. Was he? Snap's a good son. Make good husband, too. Here you are. Ah. See that, Butte? Give me 25 feet lead, and there's a prize if you beat me. All right, it's a bet. Look at that. Me and Brian making you a new party dress, and there you go wearing the seat off on a horse. Give me this, and you go back and bring up one of the wagons. Go ahead, Snap. I can take care of him.
Easy now, easy. Not too much at first. Here they come. What's this? How'd you get here, young fella? My... My name's Hal. I... I started for Adam Nabb's ranch I'm and... him? Are you the surveyor I sent for? I guess so. Well, you're here. That's what counts. Now, tell us exactly what happened. Well, I... I don't know, Mr. Nabb. I... A man named Holiness uh, directed me to your ranch, and then out there on the desert, my horse was shot from under me, and... Ah, looks like Holiness is mighty anxious to keep my ranch from being surveyed. Watch, we better get him in a wagon. I got something there to do him more good than all the talking from here to Dallas. Yes, we better. Look out, you didn't think I'd work for you. Lean on me now, son. Thank you. They'll make camp tonight at the spring. We can work from there. Yeah. We could be down at White Sage, too, where there's something going on. Why, 50 head of horses ain't even worth staying out in the sun for. Lefty, you're still trying to use your head and getting nowhere. I don't need 50 head of horses, but I can use the fellow that's turned them over to us. Snap? Snap. Before we get finished, he's going to turn over a whole valley to us and like it. they found your equipment. Yeah, so am I. What's that pear-shaped thing called? Plum Bob. <laughs> Imagine. Can you see through this at night? No. Oh. Don't you think you could see the desert in the moonlight? Well, we could try. All right. Deal me out next hand. All right, Snap. I want that harness checked over, and if it breaks, I'll harness you. All right, Mr. Snap, I'll fix it. What's worrying you, son? Snap. I can see little green devils climbing all over you. She's got no business with him. I don't like him. No lover ever did. Don't worry. Jack's all right. Father Nab says the people back east dress up all the time. Some of them. And wear their best clothes to work in? Some of them. And are the girls all pretty, too? Some of them. Are they uh, very pretty? About like you. Well, am I pretty? Ever looked in a mirror? <laughs> of course. What's he playing now? That thing something pretty. Sing blood on the saddle. There's your romance. Look at that moon. What about singing my old favorite, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs>
they do that because it pleases Father Nab. I figured that out for myself. see me, Holderness? Well, I heard the singing. I thought I'd come over and see if you changed your mind. That isn't what brought you over here. Well, now that you mentioned it, it wasn't. There was a stranger inquiring for you over in town. Oh, I see you found him. I was pretty lucky. Somebody shot my horse. Somebody shot your horse. What do you think of that, Lefty? Somebody shot this horse. And left me on the desert. Do you know anything about it? Me? Well, how would I know? I didn't think anybody around here was that bad. That's a shame, ain't it, Lefty? Matter, Lefty. You ain't afraid of them psalm singing angels? Well, they may be angels, boss, but them things hanging from their belts ain't harps. Well, Jack, I guess you're a part of this fight now. It seems so. After all, it's your quarrel. You want to pull out? What do you think? Just, uh, well, you can't court her from every saloon in White Sage, you know. Hello, boy. I got it. Boy. How are you doing now, Jack? All right so far. But now what? Turn and loose and jump. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that something's this cow punches after all. <laughs> you stick to your survey, and it's a lot safer, boy. <laughs> Holderness is at the spring. Tell him all right. And Fred, keep this to yourself, see? Yeah, I see. <laughs> well, when do you think you're going to finish your work, son? I'm going up to the point today to retrace the north line into the sheep ranch. Be sure of your calculations. That part of the ranch belongs to Judy. <laughs> Look at this. Here's your ranch. Four miles up here on this high point overlooking the valley is the sheep ranch. Yeah. And this is the north line that marks the boundary for the whole property. Once you file that correctly, Holderness can't come in with a claim. That's fine. Maybe we'll run out of Judy up there. Tell her we're ready for the shearing as soon as she runs the sheep down. I'll tell her. Turn lonesome with her away. She likes it up there. <laughs> <laughs> that part of the ranch belonged to her father, my old partner. Well, I'll be leaving just as soon as Wendy gets my horse. I'll be back tonight. Windy, windy, all the time windy. You think if I wasn't here, nobody'd ever leave this place. 
packing. Where have you been, Wendy? <laughs> there I've been, there I've been. Spitting in the wind. <laughs> there I've been. I'll look for her. And tell her if she wants anything to send the shepherd back for it, huh? You bet. Oh, <laughs> fine. See me? Well, well, I can't cut out on more horses for you right now. The old man's watching me. If it's about that money you let me have, I don't have to have it in horses. You know, Snap, that's a mighty fine piece of valley you're getting. Half of it belongs to your girl. After you two are hooked, we can make a deal. What do you mean? I mean, I staked you to plenty, savvy? Maybe your old man would like to know what happened to his horse money. You wouldn't do a thing like that, would you? I do things like that every ten minutes. Is it Snap, Poncho? No, no, it is not Mr. Snap. This man is very tall and is very slim, but he's big. You tell them. seeing you here. This is awfully nice. Haven't you been lonesome? No. Do you realize you haven't done a stroke of work today? Maybe I won't finish tomorrow. And I haven't seen you for 14 days, 17 hours, and 20 minutes. You've <laughs> gone back east. You don't believe a word of that. Besides, that water you gave was awfully good. Snap brought it to you. The luckiest man in the world. You certainly were. I mean Snap. I've known Snap since I've been a little girl. And you... Then. Just be sure of yourself, that's all. Isn't it getting late? This is where I sleep. My house in the summertime. I told them I'd be back tonight, but probably they won't miss me. Good night. Good night.
Boss, don't eat your breakfast. It's getting cold. Why isn't he back? What? You sent him up there. He had work to do, son. Work? Why don't you call it by its right name? Judy. Snap. I know what I'm talking about. Those two can't keep away from each other. They've been up there together all night. Don't you talk that way about Judy. You seem to forget that I'm going to marry her. Suppose she falls in love with this man. What about that? You're out of your mind. Oh, I am, am I? Yes. Well, I know what to do, even if you don't. Where are you going? To get Judy. And only she and I are coming back. <laughs> I'll bring you some food for lunch. show you. Jack, be careful. Oh, this is luck. Bad. Him go to rim. Judy. Are you hurt? Judy. Oh, Jack, I It's all I... right, Judy. Everything's all right. Feel better now?
just as I thought. Snap. There's still a lot I don't understand. There's a lot more than you think. Think we better go home now, Judy? I think you and Snap better not wait any longer. I'm getting pretty old, and I want to see this marriage while I can. So now, by Let's start for the ranch. Son, let's get the horses. Judy. Snap long enough. Well, Snap, this is kind of your lucky day, ain't it? Well, what do you think? Well, I think you're a mighty lucky boy. Mm. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Is it hard? <laughs> Harder than old Nab's muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Why is an old guy trying to cook a wedding feast? A little bit down here, Wendy. Listen, I told you to keep away from here. Go on back with the rest of the horses. Listen, this is one place where I'm boss. But you didn't put any there. I said, go on, get out of here. Go ahead, keep away. Mm. Listen, I told you. Now, Wendy, don't lose your temper. Well, that's a good hands, all right. <laughs> Hello, Bob. I'm glad to see you. Oh, glad to see you, Mrs. Burns. I didn't know the wedding was going to be so soon. Twenty years now I've been waiting for this day, friends. That snap was your lucky boy. I wish he'd fall in. <laughs> well, I can always drink cider anyway. Well, you boys can have your cider. Yeah. Jack. I've been looking everywhere for you. Come on over. I want you to meet some friends, eh? Uh, not just now. <laughs> If you don't mind, I Nab. think I'll... What's up, Fred? There's a mounted party riding up to the plateau. Looks like the holding is bunch. Jack, I know you want to get away from here, son. Ride up to the rim for me. If you see a party of mounted men headed this way, ride back and tell me, eh? Thanks. We gotta start things when there's a wedding going on down there at Nabs. You think so? Well, think again. With everybody out of the way, we can move in at that cabin up on the plateau. And by morning, we're all set to ride down on Nab. Boss, I never thought of that. Nobody expected you to. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, Jack. What are you doing here? I couldn't go through with it. Father Nab's going to be terribly disappointed, but... Now, now, don't cry, Judy. I can't go back there. Not after all this. It's all right. We'll go back together. I know, Jack. I love you so. Then... Then I'll go back and tell them about us. You go up to the cabin. And when I come back, we are going to get married. <laughs> hurry, Jack. You bet I'll hurry. Well, where's, where's yeah. Snap? He just went in the house a minute. I'm sure you saw him go in the house. Just now. All right, folks. Snap and Judy will be out here in a few minutes, and you're going to have the best time you ever had in your life. Judy! Nobody in the world ever felt any better than I do today. <laughs> Judy's gone. Huh? She's gone, I tell you. You must be wrong, son. She's around somewhere. Oh, I'm wrong, am I? All right, where's Jack? I sent him up to the rim. Oh, you sent him up to the rim so she could flip out and meet him, huh? I sent him up to watch for Holderness. A writer brought word... Watching that... for Holderness. Lies. They're together, I tell you, and you did it. Why, snap. Oh, I'll take your hands off me. I want to talk to you, Snap. No, up on the rim, huh? What were you doing up there? Up there with Judy, huh? Well, you can't now, get her. wedding of yours is off. That's what I came back to talk to you about. Jack, what's happened? We got company. Get her, Lefty. Uh, oh, hurry up, you sister. Dad. Listen, Holderness, what are you trying to do? You can't get away with this. That marriage of yours is off. That has nothing to do with this. If you touch this girl, I'll kill you. Get out of here. You're taking orders from me. I'm not taking them this time. Snap! 
Come on, Judy, get on your horse and get going. I'll hold him off. Hurry, Judy. You think a lot of your boy, don't you, Mr. Nell? Of course I do, Jack. His mother died when he was such a little fellow. And I was the only one left to take care of him. Maybe I didn't do such a good job. Snap's not really bad. He gets ideas. He got one this time. He thinks you love Judy. That's what I came back to tell you. I do love Judy. That's what caused the fight. It isn't given us to understand some things, I reckon. You love Judy. She's to marry Snap. When he comes back... I'd buy the boy ranch and pick up some of their boys. Come on, the white face. Now, Red, at daybreak, we jump his water claim. Sure. Joe, you and your boys cover his ranch house. Leave it to us. Mr. Nab! Mr. Nab! Where's Mr. Nab? He's not here. What's happened? Holderness. He killed Snap. Big fight at cabin. The cabin? Judy was there. Si, senor. Holderness, take her with you. I think the White Sage. What's going on here? You'll find Mr. Nab at the Boyle Ranch. Tell him to bring help and hurry. They've got Judy. But you, senor, I'm cutting straight over the mountains to White Sage. You know I've got work to do. you here so now I want to talk to you I wouldn't try that either you won't get very far I'll bet two to one on the girl <laughs> you ought to know Well, what do you want? There's some land out in that valley I need. I got to thinking today, if you and me was married... Oh, you don't. Jack! Not so fast. Take his gun, Judy. Sit down, Holderness. This is liable to be pretty good. I'm going to slip around and take a peek through that busted window. If you leave that chair while I can still see you... I ain't leaving chairs when guns are pointed my way. Come on, Judy, we're getting out of here. Drop that gun! Lefty, I've got to apologize to you.
Wait, Jim. Here. Wait a minute, Lefty. You're going to take a little trip. Get a couple of horses and put them out in front. Ed, cover the window. Here's another message for Nab. Give it to Lefty. Come on. Reach high, boys. Turn around. Throw your guns in that box in front of you. That means you too. Wendy, Judy. Wendy! Wendy! Everybody's passing! You weren't looking for me, were you? I thought you thought I was back at the ranch with the boy you murdered. I don't know what you're talking about. A man shouldn't lie holding us when he's so close to death. <laughs> should quit <laughs> top head like I You think you'll be able to make it home? What do you think? 